party was at the pageant? No, they were not. Uh, I would have seen them if they were at the pageant. They had to have been someplace in St. Louis, because she went to see them. Uh, nope. <laughs> Tupperware Remix party, I thought. They were in Kansas City. What day was the eighth? Uh, the eighth. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, here she is asking them a question. <laughs> Kansas City, fool. I was about to say, don't tell me they were in St. Louis, because I know they weren't. Trying to get me all riled up. Intentionally got it. I didn't know you still listened to them. Man, I ordered the signed version of their new album. <laughs> hey, Red. Still loading? Okay. We're not going to get away with this, are we? Oh, yeah. Check your controller. When, when he talks. All right. So Brent Wad to play Transistor, the second game by Supergiant Games. Uh, before we get too into it, Brent hits start. I want to tweak the sound settings. Uh, general, turn subtitles on and turn everything else down to like 60%. Or 40%, whatever. All right. Really, if you're basing this off when I was editing it, uh, music's the biggest issue. It's not right. talking. This dude talks a lot. Yeah. Fun fact, um, you're going to be able to recognize the voice real fast. From the sword, rather. All right, I need to post Honey, this up. You're still in one piece. That's all that matters. I will warn you is the combat system way different than Bastion. You'll figure groups. that out sooner I, rather than I, later. I don't fret, just... Yeah, yeah, it is. It's really, really interesting, but uh, it's also very strange. Hey, up there. Hello, Once you get world. further, we'll talk about. God. Look at all that. We'll talk about the the, uh, the design. Away. I do think it's interesting how she's not. She can't actually lift the sword. She has to There's drag the it. Set. Still too close to it. We better get as far from there as possible. Yeah. Hmm.
You actually have to fight the fights, you goon. No, I was trying to figure out the other direction. So you get when you move that your thing goes down, right? Like, see the see the line? Uh-huh. Like, whenever you're moving, it actually uses up action points. Uh, I did not notice that. Alright, let's make sure. Okay. Also, you do notice, like, the health thing, right? Where? Well, like, when it said overkill. Oh, yeah, we're good. Just making sure. Look, I like to make sure everything is dead. Hi. You okay? <laughs> I see. They seem sure. okay. She wants to come along. We can use her. Am I absorbing people into my sword? I mean, they explain stuff. Let's see. Wish it was raining. Cover your tracks. Ooh. Rain's not even on the pallet. Denied. Where were we? Are those like real? Do I have to do them the right way or something? No. Let's See, like, okay, you'll figure it out. singing this she's one of the ones that signed my vinyls Damn. maybe <laughs> Destroy it and wouldn't like to do it. Through there. Then it made me undo it. I think it. I know a place where you get a ride. You'll figure it out by the time you get to the boss battle. I guarantee you that. That's reassuring. This didn't used to be here. Just about everybody has. Is this the same guy who voiced Bastion? And yes! That is Ruck. Ruckus? Rux? Wait a second. See, like this is a great example of a learning moment right here. Let's pretend that never happened. Hey, Mr. Moyle, you in there? Interesting. So are we it's in the MR, computer? I, can hear I mean, they'll explain stuff. Oh no. Is this the boss? Nope. Cut off our escape. You'll know. 
That's reassuring. Come on, <laughs> tough guy. Post as me. Okay, so first off, you're struggling with this concept right here. Go. Mm. It said use triangle, you can dash forward. Okay, so. Yeah. So before you click the. God damn it! Sorry. So sit still. Okay, so this is important for learning. So the different functions can have different effects depending what slot you put them in. Shit. I mean, they're not. You must still eventually there. get all of them. Don't be too upset. Nothing. Now what? Beep boop. Look at that. Okay, you're in. Okay. So, yeah, you'll figure it out. That's one of the strengths I find to be of this game. It's actually one of the things I plan on talking about at length when we finally record an episode about this, is how interestingly they designed this battle system. Okay, now see in the bottom left that little back arrow thing? Okay. That lets you undo things. Okay. So if you waste turns or want to replan, that lets you replan. Like how you just wildly wasted that.
Criticize, because I'm curious. I don't want to criticize your like learning process here, but what? Okay, pull up the planning. Now go behind him. How do I undo? I, can you like go? Can you press L1 or? No, I just I don't. Okay, pull up planning again. Can you like navigate? I don't remember how you get down to that. Oh, what button? Um, what button starts the actions? Or L two, but that also undoes it. That starts it up again. Okay, so if L two or R two? R two. So press L two. Yeah, L two undoes okay. it. Okay. So jaunt behind him. Now use circle like you so now see how it's doing a ton of backstab damage okay now the thing you were using was like a proximity thing you see what i'm saying here yeah. like you'll learn how they work but you so really seem to be struggling at this part and you just bought this game uh ethan is on what up ethan hey ethan Brent just got That's this game, and I'm a huge fan of this uh, development studio. Uh, that bike. But uh, the game plays wildly different than Bastion. And I could tell that Brent was trying to do this in a very Bastion-like way near the beginning. You can kind of get away with it up until the first boss fight. And Brent hasn't even got there yet, so I felt it necessary to... Speak up. I, you turn left. I uh, oh, gonna skip town. didn't want this to be another Undertale situation. You meant these things. They do not have a sense of humor. Good time. They will drag you down, wipe you out, and take whatever's left of me back to those two bit camarada pieces of trash. Aw. They explain just about everything in this game, by the way. So, if I'm light on explaining things to you, Brent, it's because you just need to be patient. As I crack open a cool, refreshing kickstart. Kickstart. Start your day with a kick. Ah. So while Brent continues making his way through this game, Ethan, didn't you uh, finish up, like, didn't you start university? Oh, shit. Murder. Okay, so before you start it, that spark didn't even hit anybody. Oh, uh, not till mid-September. When you're old like we are, time just kind of blurs together. And you don't have to be in that mode to use jaunt either. You can use it to like dash out of the way. Oh, 
My god, do you love that spark attack? <laughs> Actually, I love the one I lost more. Um, you'll get it back fairly soon. get when you level up? I can't remember. <gasps> Junction Jans! I have a sticker of that. Fertile ground. <laughs> Never seen Gold Walk cleared out. Oh, you didn't go to Junction Jans! It said it was closed. It said come closer. Wait, check the channel back oh. there. Ren, I'm very disappointed by your literacy sometimes. Not a soul. Hardly recognize this place without the foot traffic. Let's see. That is true, Ethan. Whoop. Food's Drug ready to eat. Up. Must be starving. From Junction and Jads. Sea monsters really the only choice here. Hmm. Or that. Just have to get back to your place before it gets cold. <laughs> Getting some pizza. Did I already say I have a Junction Jan sticker? They're hungry too. See, your spark was blocked and your... There, now things will hurt it. down triangle like hold it down now you can aim it oh there we go see is that not far more effective yes <laughs> okay now i bet you can use your precious um explodey thing on that guy Oh, get the cell, get the cell. Also, I swear to God, this battle system does get more intuitive. I think that they made No Man's Sky 2 and couldn't call it that because the first, the first version of it failed so bad. I mean, they even changed the name. Uh, Ethan asked what we thought of the No Man's Sky update. They basically made a new game. Now, mind you, I didn't play the first one because I knew that they were over-promising and I had no interest in the new one. Okay, so... What? So, if you go to the access point, um, your other thing might be fixed. Oh no. So your on the camera on a short list. More than just your access points fix. Um your functions fix as you go to different access points. Okay. So um I believe yeah, okay, so you can so did you did you even see what it did? Yeah, create some kind of So it adds a chain reactive effect to most functions. So go into the function thing. 
it's Nyla. Um, Everybody said she split after Cold Ethan, Watch. we'll talk all about that in just a sec. Okay, cool. So, um, there we go. Breach plus bounce. Breach will chain to multiple nearby targets. Down in the bottom left, that's important because this is how you determine what the different combos all do. And the different combos get increasingly important. Um, so, Ethan said he pre-ordered the first one and has never pre-ordered a game since then. Fun fact, editor <laughs> of the show, uh, Mike, had the exact same experience. He pre-ordered the game. It failed to deliver so massively that he decided he will never pre-order a game again. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this in the podcast yet, but pre-ordering is, in almost all instances, a huge scam. You are giving money to people in the hopes that the product that might come out when they say it's going to come out could be good. Now, I will defend pre-ordering some games when they are from small developers. Like, if Supergiant Games has another game that comes out, I will pre-order that. I pre-ordered Guacamelee because I love stuff by Drinkbox. Uh, but, like, Assassin's Creed games, never again. Um, most Nintendo games, probably not. They don't need the money. Whereas, the pre-orders for these smaller studios is super important. Uh, hold up, before you do that. I bet if you moved a little bit more to the up and left, um, you could uh, you could go through both of them with one. And you also see you can only go where it's bright orange, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I bet you could spear through both of them with like that. I bet you could do it again. Oh shit, I didn't realize those things healed them. Also, the more of that stuff you use up, the longer it takes to heal. Uh -huh. So that's one of the reasons I don't advocate the overkill. Okay. Oh yeah! So... Ethan was saying the only reason he pre-ordered it, pre it is because it guaranteed he got it faster. Because he lives pretty far from a game store. Which is a problem that we don't really have to consider. Now, certain parts of America do, but not us. Because we live pretty close to a major metropolitan area. Though if you ask any of those snobby people in the bigger cities, St. Louis ain't nothing. But off the top of my head, there is one, two, three, at least half a dozen places I could buy games from. No problem if I wanted. Oop. Within very close driving distance. Okay, before you do that, yeah, can both of them get hit by a spark? No. Uh, I can't get to a place where... Can it just do it from there? It keeps jumping me that far. Oh, don't. Try not jaunting. Just try using your explodey thing right there. There you go. Do it again. Kill him. Brent. That is something I've always kind of... Oh, shit. Yeah, 
Yeesh. Alright. Jump behind him and then do your stabby thing. It... Just passing through. Dude, it tells you if they're gonna die. <laughs> Ethan, if you live pretty far from a game store, it's curious, do you have, like, high-functioning internet then? Oh, your one thing came back. Now I believe you're about to go into the first Fire. boss fight. Get ready to get jumped. Maybe not. Or not. Let's not stick around. Yeah, um wish we could just sit and watch the world go by. The uh Logan Cunningham is the guy who voices the sword. He also does a very prominent voice in Pyre, and he sounds nothing like this. Got some kind of cheerleader this time. Uh, 20, 30 miles, no highway on. Apparently Ethan lives on an island. Okay, so... After you jaunt, you switch them, and then you can't attack them. So you might want to go kill the cheer, John. No, switching them's good. Oh, okay. You track him. So, okay, that won't do anything. Still nothing. So it's protected by the cheerleader. That thing to the right that's shooting out the laser. How much does the... yeah, how much does that cost? <laughs> Look up two different names and we'll see what he means. Good to go. Alright. They're mine now? For five seconds, man. So if you switch just one of them, like if you jaunt to that one, or you could attack them. If you jaunt to that one and then try to get behind close enough to the other one that you can backstab them. So if you do your X attack now, uh... Can you hit him, or is that too far away? It was going on for like a second. Okay, so just move a little... I wouldn't spark, just move a little closer to be behind him. The problem is if I move... Just walk there. See, now you're doing 75 damage, whereas... If you did one of the other things, it'd be way more. So if you just crash him a whole bunch of times now, the other guy will probably finish him off. Oh, 
Well, that didn't work as anticipated. So that's my bad. That would be strange to live on an island. You can't do it because you switch them with the jaunt. Expensive living on an island, Ethan. It's something I've always been kind of curious about. Go get the cell, dude. If you move slightly before you do that, you can get to a backstab position. And backstab does 50% more. traditional vowels. I believe we looked this up before and he looks in web. Oh yeah, I knew this. Yeah, he lives in... I tried to pronounce this before and I embarrassed myself. A-M-L-W-C-H. I knew that. Uh, it looks like there's a bridge that crosses into the mainland. I like how there's all of this map and you try to go in the direction that's not open. Does you don't know that. I just saw you do it. No, you don't know, know it's here. not open. Oh. I mean, you don't know that, but don't this... Like you do. Hello. Is there ever, like, super bad weather that causes issues? Damn it, she brought help. What happened? She jumped. Ooh, she's invisible. Oh, that sucks. They're just far enough apart you can't hit them both. Can you? Nope. Oh, you were jaunting them anyways. Okay. Not a jaunt. Yeah, that was a jaunt. Okay. Yeah. Boom. So if there's ever extreme weather, does that, like, cause problems? Uh, is oh, damn it, I just... Oh. Lights out. It said protected. I know. Can you hit both of them with a the breach? No. Hmm. There we go. Well, now you're over. So, she's protected by the cheerleader. Are you killing the cheerleader? Yeah. I was if I do this. See it? That says the young lady. Yeah, but it also see how the cheerleaders in red too. All right, we'll see. Oh god, damn it! About to say that you switch. So maybe putting that thing on the jaunt wasn't yeah. the best idea, huh? Uh, just off the island is a huge mountain range when mountains meet the sea. You get rain all the time. 
but this summer it's been quite dry. Also, the sheep there were radio once radioactive. How does that happen? Uh, four in the top right. You should probably be able to crash. Yeah. Okay. All set. It's not dead, so you can't hurt hurt the weed. Also not sure you can hit that thing. Oh. Uh clouds in the eighties carried radiation from Chernobyl. Wow. That's crazy, did you know that? Uh, clouds in the 80s carried radiation from Chernobyl. It hit the mountains so no one could farm them for five years. That's how they, the sheep were radioactive. I mean, the radiation from Chernobyl dropped a long way. Well, yeah, obviously. I know that now. So right there would be a great place to use your explodey thing. But that works too, because you're going to kill him. Get him! Get him all! Look at him go. Kill him! So it's a great time to use your explodey thing. Not breach. Not breach. <laughs> when I say explodey thing, I mean your AOE attack. Both of them? I think it did. It hit both of them. All. Nah. No, you. That wasn't bad. Yeah, but he is gonna turn. Well, hit him with a crash. Not a spark. Now to breach. Now I bet you can get. Yeah, I bet you can get close enough. Um, so John in between. I can't. That's yeah, fine. Move a little closer, then crash him. There you go. Oh, you still got that weed up there. Don't get too close. Just kill him. That's really unique, please. 
Yeah, uh, I actually lived in Germany for a year because military family and such. And we went to England. And it was a really nice place, but while we were in Europe, just castles everywhere all the time. Which, uh, ooh, you got some updated function stuff. Look at that. Where? Triangle. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's the thing. Okay, pull that back up. Um, <clears throat> so press triangle. Oh. Whenever. The sky like I'm going to explain, be explaining stuff. So go over to subject. Whenever you get to a checkpoint and you have this function in a slot, it gives you one of these things unlocked. For a trophy, you have to get all of these for everything, okay. which one of the ways they encourage experimentation. If you go over to details, it tells you the specifics that it does. Okay. So like this is what it does, active, etc. Uh, go to upgrades. So yeah, this is what it can all do combined together. You'll find a combo that works for you. <clears throat> Watching you play this makes me kind of want to replay it. Yeah, England's one of the places that, well, first off, is Wales considered part of England? Am I being super offensive to Ethan right now? It's considered part of the United Kingdom. Oh, damn it. Sorry, Ethan. I <laughs> US'd it up something fierce there. I apologize. Wait, is there still a United the Kingdom? The OVC. Said she left for personal reasons. Oh, it wasn't for the you know, Brexit was for the UK to leave yes. the EU, not for the UK to dissolve. No, not yet anyway. Cool. Not yet. Now, if you put this on a thing, you can also choose just to not have it. Yeah, I apologize, Ethan. I should have known better from Let's all that silly downstairs. nonsense. Red is you, by the way. Yeah, if only. Let's get back to it. The chick who voices... Oh, um, you only hear her a couple times, but the female who voices Red in this is also the same one who does the female singing in Bastion. When I first saw you up on that stage back there, it was like... Everyone loved you. Everyone accepted them. I'm going to apologize, Ethan. I'm going to turn the sound up for us this time because this is my favorite song in the game. Also, Brent's going to get wrecked. So sorry, Brent. Oh, important backstory. That digital camera. It is not.
So I assume whoever, all the people we took are in the sword, which is what I assumed in the first place. And that the person that was stabbed is the person talking through the sword. You got it. They were trying to assassinate you. Oh yeah. This, uh, this should look familiar to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. Thank Where are we at time-wise? <sighs> when you finish this look boss up, we're gonna cut hey, this say session. Say something, will you? Oh, no. Have I seen the Welsh flag? Wales flag. That's a badass flag. Look who it is. <laughs> there are not enough dragons and flags anymore. Hello again. I like how you just attack her. You. This is the song that's rad. It's what fighting time. You want to get behind her. Oh, before you do that, go back one and just do crash, then do uh, whatever your circle move is. Okay, see, so that's a trick. With the last bit, you can use any move. So Breach is a hugely expensive move, but if you have a small amount left, you can use that. So you're gonna take off over half of her life with this. All right. Well, not nearly as much as it predicted, but. Well, it ain't perfect. Uh, I think you can probably no. I think you could do a crash then a breach. Mm. Go back. Do crash crash breach. No, go back. No. Three crashes, one breach. Yeah. All right. Bam. Out the range. No, way too, way too overkill. All right, I think you can figure this out. Gotta destroy Just those things, up. dude. Ouch. Yeah. Oh. No. Get it. Oh, sorry, Ethan was saying. Ethan, you have one of the most fascinating languages ever. 
Okay, so before you do that, um, and sorry for the backseat gaming here, this boss fight just beat me senseless, and I'd rather not see it happen to you. Um, instead of doing that walk, I bet you can jaunt closer to that weed. It's the closest I can get. Yeah, but I mean, now, even if you walk there, you used up less. There you go. So now I bet you can orient yourself pretty close to her and then use your... Ooh, not on. Yeah, now... Mm. Damn it. But you can crash her, then breach her. Back. Hold down the button, then direct it. Curious. Oh, there you go. Interesting hit detection on this. Uh, is this for crash? Yeah. Um. Oh, damn it! Can you just move slightly closer? No. I mean, there we go. Okay. Now breach. Yeah. Okay, you can do this, man. Initiate your turn. Breach. Backstab cheerleaders? I don't think you can. Nope. Nope. But you can crash them from there, can't you? Yeah, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot, but I mean, you can still kill one with. Then you might be able to jaunt away. Or you could just start hauling ass on your own. No, I think you can probably jump decently far away. Oh man, there's so many things. You're fine. And that cheerleader did come back though. Okay, cool. Woo. My 
god. Can still do one more attack. Uh, Spark does more than crash if you wanted to do that. I think you can do this, man. Oh, that sucks. Sorry if we're getting quiet on this part, Ethan. This is just a very intense fight. Well, I assume so. Brent, how you doing? Oh, well. Do the golden lions all have different names? So close. Oh, no, go back. Don't use... No, Spark does more. Uh, yeah, can you jaunt behind her? That's only a 50. Instead of walking, you might be able to jaunt behind her. It... Can you do two crashes? I think crash is slightly less than spark. Not two sparks. Just... Damn it. Alright. Oh, she turned around. Ethan, have you ever played any games by these people? You're gonna be fine after this turn. Just make sure you can hit her every time. to get her get her cores she's finished ah uh, she had a hp dude oh my just oh i thought it was a cinema of some kind Trace. hello again sim your camera out of friends i want you to tell us where they are Ooh. Sybil's trace. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. We got our lead. We're going downtown. The process has been waiting for. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, Ethan, we're calling it for this stream. We'll be back very shortly. Um, Brent, get to like, there should be a save point around here. Let's check the dock. So, it's... Um, let's see if we can find a save point real fast. It's close for good, isn't it? Whew. All right.
turn the audio down a touch. Oh, there it is. All right. With any ah, point. save point. Great. Okay. So Brent's gonna go through this real fast, determine if he wants to change things up. So like now, since that breach is gone, you can put that in your blank slot if you want. Or you can combo it like you're choosing to do. They are all valid. And then I'll you try it. Well, and then you can. Yeah, you can see if that can go anywhere. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and call it for now. Uh, we will be back shortly, but uh, appreciate you uh, jumping on, Ethan. And yep. uh, we'll probably see you soon, though I wouldn't blame you in the slightest for going to bed since it's like, what, 3.30 in the morning there? All right, catch you later, dude.